Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to transfer one of my Black Widows out of this filthy container and we're going to stick her in a newer container for temporary. The old container is just littered with carcasses of her prey. So we got to do something about cleaning it out and I want to make some, you know, arrangement changes in there. The new container is one of those bug cups that I got from Josh's Frogs. It has that kind of... I don't know, coffee filter type air breathing thing on the top so it lets your bugs in there breathe. But the problem is it's kind of opaque and doesn't give you a clear view of the Black Widow. Yeah, kind of disappointing, right? But remember, this is only temporary. i got to clean these out. I've been saying it for a while. I'm finally doing it. And I put a hornworm in here to distract her at the beginning to think maybe she'd be distracted with this. But not so much, right? All right, so I'm going to pick her up and transfer her. I'm just going to, I got gloves on. I'm just going to grab it with my hands and stick her in the new container. And there we go. I don't know if these latex gloves are going to do any good, if they're just going to bite right through them or if they're going to poke out of them. But, you know, I don't want spider buggy germs on my fingers. So that's why I have the gloves on. But yes, I wouldn't recommend using latex gloves for spider protection. That's just not, you know, a thing that you would do. At least not what a normal person would do with some common sense, right? All right, so now that she is in the new habitat, temporary habitat, I'm going to clean up the old one, and we're going to put her back in the old one. The old one wasn't perfect. I'm still looking for something that is optically clear, and that's hard to find. Containers I found in the past that had good optics to see through had horrible lids. You need a lid that can breathe. You need a lid that can securely be put on it. I've tried several glass jars, like thicker glass jars, like a juice jar and a pickle jar. I need a good old-fashioned mayonnaise jar, maybe. Does mayonnaise even come in a glass jar anymore? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'll look for. But we're going to put her in this for temporary, and then... She's going to be back in her older container for possibly ever or possibly temporary. Well, we'll have to see in case I can find something better. I need to find something better. All right, what do you think? Long time coming, right? Should have done this a long time ago. Hopefully she will eat this hornworm and she will enjoy her new surroundings for the next four or five days. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.